As the sun rose on Austin Tyndall Regional Park, 300 teams from across the country and the world traveled to Kissimmee, Florida to compete for the right to be crowned national champion. With 1 million members from ages 7 to 16, American Youth Football and Cheer is the largest organization of its kind on the planet. For the next half hour, we'll recap an exciting week of youth football and find out which teams took home the first place trophy. We'll go behind the scenes for some exclusive events hosted by AYF and Universal Studios. We've got a front row seat for all the exciting performances at the AYC National Championships. And we'll showcase all the offensive strikes and big defensive stops in our top plays of the week. All that and more next on the 2011 American Youth Football and Cheer National Championships. Welcome to sunny Kissimmee, Florida for the 2011 American Youth Football and Cheer National Championships. Hi everyone, I'm Elise Zwick. Throughout the next half hour, we'll be bringing you sights and sounds from an exciting week of action from the gridiron. But first, let's learn about American Youth Football from the league president, Joe Galat. Well, we were really happy this year that we were able to go over that 20,000 team mark. It's just been uh, really pleasing for us to have people from the East Coast and the West Coast uh, come together. The kids get an opportunity to meet each other. I think it's not only a safe and a fun activity, it's also a fellowship activity where they get an opportunity to make friends and uh, get new experiences. With one million participants across all 50 states, American Youth Football is the largest football and cheer organization on the planet. I think football in general is growing across the country. And uh, we've had teams that have not been here before. Uh, across the country, we think we can continue to grow. And uh, the sky's the limit. Now that you know more about the league, let's get right to the highlights for our first set of national championship games. The National D2 Cadet Championship came down to the Third Word 49ers and the Odell Eagles. After a hard-fought defensive battle, the Eagles would soar past the Niners with a 12-0 victory. We played hard all year. Great group of parents that made everything happen, got us down here. We played hard through our division, made it through regionals, got down here and played through. National D2 Junior Pee Wee title pitted the South Side Cowboys against the Freedom Drive Broncos. The Cowboys executed a potent rushing attack to blank the Broncos 32-0 and become national champs. Our coaching staff, man, these guys worked their tails off for us to accomplish what we've done today, even financially getting here. I take my hat off to all of them, man. I, I just, I'm overwhelmed right now with the moment. I'm proud of each and every one of these kids. They stayed on course academically, and I try and tell them all the time, when you do what you're supposed to do, take care of your own personal business, good things happen. And this is a reward right here for that. This is a reward for that. The National D2 Pee Wee Championship was between the Garden Villa Giants and the Falmouth Tide. The Giants relied on their ground game to gain the early lead and never looked back. We're a famous player, man. We're doing it for, for Coach Hicks, we're doing it for the organization, and we're doing it for the, uh, the, the whole the, the whole Brother Hill Giant organization. They're very special, and I told them at the beginning of the year, can nobody beat y'all with who? I said! The national title in the D2 Junior Midget Bracket featured a North-South showdown. The Osceola Panthers versus the Manalapan Braves. The boys from New Jersey pounded the ground for a 22-6 victory. We started with these kids, a lot of these kids when they were five years old. We've been close many, many times, so it was really gratifying this year for, for us to 
come through uh, what, in my opinion, was a tremendous confidence. Every game we played was hard like this, and uh, the kids were ready for it. Up next, more championship action and a special trip off the field. Connect with AYF today. Get up to the minute rankings and stay current with the best of what is happening today in the world of youth football on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. American Youth Football serves more than one million administrators, coaches, and youth participants in thousands of communities by providing support services, rules, education, training, grants, scholarships, and tournaments. AYF offers all-inclusive football and cheer divisions, enabling every child an opportunity to play. All community-based youth football and cheer programs are welcome to join AYF. Go to joinayf.com to get your program involved. Welcome back to Austin Tyndale Regional Park for the 2011 American Youth Football and Cheer National Championships. So far we've seen some exciting action from our Division II teams. So let's head back to the field and see who was crowned national champions in our Division I brackets. The national D1 cadet title pitted the Dale City Bengals against the South Side Cowboys. The Bengals dominated the contest, scoring on the ground and in the air for a 28-6 win. I still can't believe it, man. It's gonna take a while to soak in. We fought hard, my coaching staff, and my players, all we did all year was fight, so we used to games like this. We don't have, we don't come from a weak conference, bro. We fight all the time, so the Vapor. the Vapor Conference is one of the best, man, and we used to games like this. That's what prepared us for this. National D1 Junior Pee Wee Championship featured the SEV Wildcats and the Parkside Warriors with a relentless rushing attack and some great defensive stops. The boys from Baltimore tamed the Wildcats for a 46-6 win. This season starts in early April with spring training and then for it to end here in December, it's a long stretch. And these are young boys, 9, 10, 11 years old. So for them to take that journey, it's, it's, it's an experience. Right now, y'all are the Team Merlin champions, y'all the Atlantic Region champions, and then I got one more notch, y'all the AYF national champions. The title for the National D1 Pee Wee Bracket was a showdown between the SEV Thunder and the Southside Cowboys. The Cowboys utilized a balanced offense to silence the Thunder, 31 to nothing. They did a great job. I, I'm kind of I'm speechless because they worked so hard. We've been grinding since July. You know, in the hot we had a hot summer in Texas, and we worked hard. They they fought through it, and these are the results. More championship moments are just ahead, but first, let's take a behind-the-scenes trip to Universal Studios, where AYF and AYC members had the park all to themselves. Come with it. Everything to ourselves just for AYF. It's really cool. It's pretty cool, you know, just being here all by ourselves with all these rides. It's very fun being around your friends, people your age. It's just awesome that we're here as uh, AYF and here to be able to party as football players. It's fun because there's hardly any lines and you can just go right on the rides. We just went on like the rock and roller coaster ride, it was, it was really, really good. Yeah, there's like five drops on it, it's awesome. We got on a Men in Black ride, then Shrek in 4D, it was fun. Uh, it's like my first time here ever, and like my friends would tell me about it, and now I realize how much fun it is. It's really nice for them to like shut down the park just for the cheerleaders and football players. Thank you, everybody. National D1 
one junior midget crown was decided in the shootout between the Fox Rocks Ravens and the SEV Thunder. They would exchange touchdowns into the fourth quarter, but it was the Thunder who stormed back with a one-yard scamper. It's just emotional. It's up and down. The kids, our kids are resilient. They've come from behind probably four times this year, and they just play when it counts. Yeah, this means a lot. Our association, SCV, had three teams in it today, and the other two came up short, and what, somebody had to go home with the national championship. SCV's never won it, so here we are today. SCV, you guys back home, we rock. Way to go, 15-0. championship in the National D1 Midget Bracket was an East versus West face-off between the Holmesburg Boys Club and the Inland Empire Ducks. Holmesburg executed on both sides of the ball, protecting a 14-point lead for the victory. We really pride East Coast smash mouth football, you know, and that's how they want it and they played defense and it was a great game. It's an incredible feeling, you know, these kids have been out here working three, four years and they put the work in, they played an excellent, excellent football team, they gave us all we could handle, you know, and uh, the boys fought hard and played, played it out and won and, you know, it's just a great, it's, it's what you play for, it's what every coach lines up and plays for in August and uh, we made it and it, it feels great. One, two, three, game! Coming up, championship highlights continue and we spotlight AYF's mission of giving back. Hi, this is Trey Sutler from The Team Cloud, an innovative new sports team website that allows you to manage all aspects of your team. Go to www.theteamcloud.com to register, it's easy. Store all your relevant sport team information and don't ever worry about losing any of its data. Connect to Facebook with one-click sharing of videos, game times, pictures, and much more. And best of all, it's free. www.theteamcloud.com. American Youth Football's mission is to promote the wholesome development of youth through their association with adult leaders in the sport of football. Coaches emphasize learning and playing the sport while instilling high moral standards by stressing the importance of teamwork, sportsmanship, health, academic achievement, and community involvement. Put the shoulder in them and drive them to the whistle ball. You understand that? O-line, D-line, I need y'all today, boy. Stay my day. Become a member today at joinayf. Com. Thanks for coming back with us as we recap the 2011 American Youth Football and Cheer National Championships here in Kissimmee, Florida. It's been an exciting week and an emotional week as the players laid it all out on the field in the quest of becoming the next national champions. Let's see who took home the trophy in the All-American Divisions. The fifth grade All-American Championship saw the West Side Cubs square off against the Mentors of Tomorrow Cowboys. In a game of great defensive execution, it was the West Side Cubs who were crowned national champs after their final scoring drive with 32 seconds remaining in regulation. Listen, it's awesome. Back at home, we left our uh, traditional league and came over, lost a few guys, but um, it's a lot of youngsters stepped up, man, and really played real football. You got to put your shoulder in them and drive them to the whistle ball. You understand that? Yes, sir. Let's go. Go get some water. Get off the feet. Let's go. Hey, good job, guys. Good job. In the sixth grade All-American bracket, the Southeast met the Southwest as the mentors of Tomorrow Cowboys clashed against the Balboa Raiders. <laughs> The Cowboys controlled the contest from the start, jumping out to a 30 to nothing lead by halftime. <laughs> Claiming the right to be named national champs. I'm so proud of these kids. Uh, they work very, very hard. Um, um, everything else is history. Woo! Yeah, boy. D line, I need y'all today, boy. Let's go, baby. Reflection on three. One, two, three. Reflection. The national championship in the seventh grade All American Division was a backyard brawl between the Middleburg Broncos and the Wakiva Redskins. Fall up. 
all time. The Broncos charged out to an early lead, pounding the ground for multiple TDs. On their way to a 42-0 victory. We were defending champs, so we came into the year with a lot of high expectations. Um, and the thing about that's unique about our team is we have kids from a small county, and some of the kids are underprivileged kids. You know, they're concerned about a lot of things in life, and when they come to the football field, um, it's their place where they know that they have support from their coaches, they have support from their friends, and they play for each other and they love each other. Throughout the week, many unique events took place here at the Austin Tyndale Regional Park that taught kids football fundamentals while having some fun at the field. One of the highlights of the week was the Pros vs. Joes event, where AYF players got the chance to go heads up against former NFL talents in a series of competitive drills. Go up, Scott! Yeah, what you got? What you got? Where you going? Where you going? Uh, Use hands, get off them. Oh, oh, oh. When they weren't competing on the football field, AYF members were able to get some training tips from former NFL linebacker LeVar Arrington. We're going to do basic hand shooting techniques, all right? From mascots to sponsored activities, there was plenty of fun had by the players with their family and friends. All day long, all year long, us on three. It's us. One, two, three. Us! The eighth grade All-American Championship was settled between the Mint Hill Chargers and the Steel Canyon Cougars. Yeah, Hold that down, man. Hold that down. Y'all got this. Both squads displayed awesome offensive strikes in a game that saw day turn into night. the Cougars clawed their way past the Chargers to take home the trophy with a 34-19 win. I'll say this, you know, we, we started this from the beginning of the year. We always said, you know, we can do this together. You know, our big motto this year was us and, uh, and, and us staying together. We said we could beat anybody and, and we, it's been since early July. We've been 16-0 and, and we've done it together. From day one, we got a lot of talent and, and everything's unselfish and, and that's where we start and that's where we end, baby, with us. So. The ninth grade All-American National Championship matched two Floridian teams head-to-head, -head, the Living Faith Jaguars and the Poinciana Predators. The Jaguars put the pressure on early, leading 12 to nothing. but the Predators mounted an exciting comeback to take a 19-12 lead and bragging rights in the state of Florida. I think we just persevered. You know, we have a, a very deep team, and most of the time we wear teams out like that. We, you know, we just kind of wear them down. I mean, they're a big, physical, strong team, but um, I think we had a little bit more depth than they did. This is the absolute best tournament. You get to see kids from all over the country and different brands of football, and that's what I love about it. And the camaraderie, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. I really like this tournament more than any tournament we've ever been on. One, two, three, family. One, two, three, family. Just ahead, more national champions are crowned in Kissimmee, including performances by the AYC cheerleaders. American Youth Football serves more than one million administrators, coaches, and youth participants in thousands of communities by providing support services, rules, education, training, grants, scholarships, and tournaments. AYF offers all-inclusive football and cheer divisions, enabling every child an opportunity to play. All community-based youth football and cheer programs are welcome to join AYF. Go to joinayf.com to get your program involved. Connect with AYF today.
get up to the minute rankings and stay current with the best of what is happening today in the world of youth football on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Welcome back to the 2011 American Youth Football and Cheer National Championships. We wrap up the week by closing with the Conference All-Star Division. Let's head back to the field and check out all the action. The Conference All-Stars bracket featured the top talent from across the country. In the first semifinal game, the New Jersey All-Stars squared off against the San Diego All-Stars. New Jersey lit up the scoreboard for 24 points. On defense, they dominated San Diego, denying them on every possession, earning a trip to the championship game. The second semifinal game was between the Tucson All-Stars and the Washington Warriors. The Warriors used their strong rushing attack to lead them straight to the championship round, defeating Tucson 27 to 20. The final showdown for the Conference All-Star National Championship between New Jersey and Washington was a highly anticipated game. New Jersey started the game strong, scoring touchdowns on both sides of the ball, propelling them to a 32 to nothing victory and the title of national champions. We had a game plan from three weeks ago. Everybody bought in. All egos were checked at the door. 33 players played as a team, a real football team. Everyone knew their role, and that's why we won. American Youth Cheer has 300,000 girls nationwide cheering and dancing, but only the top squads get the opportunity to compete for the national title. From ages 5 to 18, AYC cheerleaders brought their best to the mat. From acrobatic performances to synchronized cheer routines, all the AYC cheerleaders left the mat with smiles on their face. With a mission of giving back, AYF has successfully donated over $15 million in grants and athletic product to its members. Part of this mission is teaching AYF youth the importance of giving back to one's own community. This football season, AYF teamed up with Kraft Foods in the huddle to fight hunger, a campaign to help donate 25 million meals to Feeding America. As part of the program, more than 300 cheerleaders from across the U.S. participated in a rallying cheer to raise awareness for hunger and celebrate their efforts in fighting hunger in their communities all season long. Before the awards were given out, AYC showed the crowd in attendance what being a part of AYC is all about, letting loose and having fun. What's up everybody, it's LeVar Arrington here. We're here in beautiful Kissimmee, Florida, and we're here at the AYF National Championships. A lot of players making plays here, and here are the best of them your plays of the week. going to wrap up another year for us at the American Youth Football and Cheer National Championships. We'd like to thank all the players and their families for creating a memorable week. Once again, I'm Elise Zwick and we look forward to seeing you all again next year.